I got Dylan McNerney with the DMAC Impact Foundation. And Dylan, I uh, have just found out a little bit from Joe Caesar, who I know it works with you guys about the DMAC Impact Foundation and uh, your guys' first annual event. So I'm excited to have you on, and I want to start by allowing you to tell us a little bit about DMAC Impact and Dason McNerney, who I understand uh, super near and dear to you and this cause is, is incredibly important. So tell us about it, if you would. Absolutely. So first of all, thanks a bunch for having us on here. Um, DMAC Impact Foundation, I'm the vice president. My name is Dylan McNerney, like he mentioned. Um, our mission is to support individuals and families that have been affected by Crohn's disease, uh, which is something that Dason struggled with for, for a good chunk of his life there. Um, we, uh, we've had a ton of people helping us along the way, but uh, they're uh, our, our main driving, the people driving the bus, if you will, uh, myself, my wife, Amanda McNerney, my parents, David and Susan McNerney, my sister and her husband, Alyssa and Skylar Gam, and then a handful of Dason's friends, uh, but Joe Caesar and Colby and Kelsey Lehman, kind of the main ones there. Um, we, the idea sparked back in uh, the springtime of last year, and then we officially kind of got the ball rolling in August. Um, but uh, really the main motivation and the goals were to uh, give Dason a platform to help support people that are affected by the same things that he was affected by, as well as just, um, yeah, like, like I said, give him a platform to, to still make an impact on the community. Everyone that I hear speak of uh, Dason McNerney has amazing things to say about the impact he made and what he meant to them. And so for you guys, you guys knew him, know of him. So tell us about Dason McNerney. Yeah, so uh, my brother uh, was a super charismatic guy. Dason, um, you know, he was a magnet of a person. A lot of people were attracted to his personality. He's one of those guys that was always organizing, um, getting people together and just uh, being social. That all kind of changed when he got diagnosed with Crohn's in 2009. Um, it's something that can be a very isolating disease, um, something that not, seems like a lot of people don't um, don't understand uh, the, the, the symptoms that come with it and things like that. So for those of you that don't know, Crohn's is, uh, it's a debilitating disease that affects the digestive tract, uh, causes severe inflammation, um, and that comes with just chronic pain. So uh, it's something that, like I said, Dason dealt with for, for a good chunk of his life. I believe it was 2009 that he got diagnosed with Crohn's when he was 20 years old. Um, and again, it's just something that he battled throughout his life. There was, um, you know, no matter what we seem to try, uh, it never seemed to consistently work for him. There's tons of different options out there. Again, they all come with a laundry list of uh, different side effects and things yeah. like that. So um, tons of things that come with that. Um, and we never really could seem to get it under control for Dason. Um, the flip side of that, something that's not talked about a lot within the Crohn's community is something that we like to call the ripple effect. Um, and what that is, there's over, there's 1.6 million people that are affected by Crohn's in America. One in six of those people will fall victim to addiction just from trying to, trying to manage those yeah. symptoms. So um, that's something that with our foundation, we're really focused on trying to make an impact specifically there and close that gap a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just another area that we, we wanna impact for sure. You guys are really hoping to make a big difference and prevent other families from having the same journey. Now, for you guys, you chose a three-on-three -three basketball tournament kind of as a big event, which I know is important to uh, you, Dason, his circle of friends. So tell us about the fundraising event coming up, the uh, Dace Jam weekend, which I know is creating some buzz. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Dason was always, not just basketball, always real into a bunch of different sports, but specifically basketball. Uh, you know, when he passed away, there was a bunch of people who, who wrote stories in and things like that, which, by the way, thank you, was super, super heartwarming to read those. Um, but the majority of those were based around basketball in some way or yeah. fashion. Growing up, me and Dason were always either downstairs playing NBA hang time on the Nintendo or outside, you know, we'd put the sprinklers on, play basketball outside. His friends would come over late at night, we'd line up the cars and, and put headlights on to, to play late or early in the morning. So. Um, we knew that when we wanted to start the foundation, that um, it's kind of a no-brainer that it had to be centered around basketball in some way or another. And we think that a three-on-three -three tournament is a great way to do that. <laughs> That's incredible. And I know basketball is big down here in the lake area. 
Uh, it's the first annual Dace Jam Weekend on March 16th, as you alluded to at Osage High School. There's also a silent auction and dinner that night, which is gonna be pretty cool. And so as I look at all this information, I know there's people out there that first they wanna sign up. They also might wanna sponsor the event. I know there's some great sponsorship opportunities, but there might be people out there who just have questions and who might be walking that walk and dealing with Crohn's disease or someone in their family. And so through your guys' foundation, are there resources or people they can reach out to where you guys would be willing to talk with them? Absolutely, and I would say, I would start by just saying, come to our event, first of all, uh, because at, you know if you don't plan on spending a dime or helping us towards that, that's fine. Just come be around uh, the community. There's gonna be some familiar faces there. And, um, and yeah, there should be some resources there. We're gonna have the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation there that will have their own booth. Um, hopefully that's, uh, but yeah, we'll be able to, to, to spread some knowledge on that front as well. Very cool. So this is gonna be the first annual big weekend and then hoping to make this an annual event, correct? Yep. And really continue to grow the DMAC Impact Foundation. Uh, so in the short term, awesome uh, event, but what are your guys' plans moving forward? I mean, I know that this is important to you and your family, and so what do you guys see the DMAC Impact Foundation turning into? The things that we wanna affect, we've kind of zeroed in on a few things for this year. Um, for it, first of all, we want to help fund a few community scholarships. Okay. So uh, first, um, any kids trying to enter the mental health field, that's really uh, what we're trying to do. We're gonna be funding three local scholarships on that front. And then the other side of that, so we are going to be, um, you probably have never heard of, it's called Camp Oasis. So we're gonna okay. be funding kids that will be attending Camp Oasis, which is a camp that is run by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, specifically for kids with Crohn's and IBD. Um, our goal there is really, when we, when we look back at it, we think that if Dason would have had more of a support group going into him having Crohn's and things like that, um, you know, people to lean on, people that were dealing with the same thing, uh, that, you know, maybe, maybe we wouldn't be here today. Uh, and on the flip side of that too, as a family, maybe we could have seen more ways to, to be supportive in that way as well. So um, those are the two things that we've kind of zeroed in for this year uh, to, to make an impact, but we really do uh, want to kind of expand as well to that, to the, to the ripple effect that I had alluded to earlier. Uh, we're just not totally sure how we're going to yeah. do that there, here, but or this year, but we're trying to transition to that. Well, Dylan, I got to tell you, uh, I appreciate you coming on, taking the time to share with us. I applaud your courage and your ability to continue to move forward uh, in the honor of your brother and all that he was and all the people he impacted. And listen, guys, this is going to be an incredible weekend. There's a chance that we're going to be there March 16th. You can go to dmacimpact.org, sign up, find out more. For Dylan and your entire team, my friend, thank you so much. Thanks a bunch for having us. We Absolutely.